So today in class there was a couple questions. One of them was number one, another one was number three on the web assign. So here it's asking you to read the following description of the element zinc and indicate which are physical properties and which are chemical pro properties. One thing uh, to really take into consideration if it is a physical or a chemical property, notice you can actually already see the answers for here. So zinc is a silver gray colored metal. It, so that's the first part it's asking about. If it is something that is a trait, physical trait of the of a certain substance, you can absolutely consider it to be physical. So notice that here we have zinc melting at 420 degrees Celsius. Zinc is that would be a physical change because physical changes are gonna give. So you can go from a solid to a liquid to a gas at different temperatures, no matter what substance it is. So if it's something about melting temperature or boiling temperature. It's not changing the actual structure of the substance. For example, zinc is not going to change it, its structure. It's still going to be zinc. That would be considered to be a physical. So then we have, again, so we have zinc granules are added to a dilute sulfuric acid. Hydrogen is given off and metal dissolves. If you see something where a certain substance is dissolving or giving off some kind of other gas or there's some other kind of chemical reaction within it, you can then imply that then that would be the chemical properties of that substance. So zinc reacting with the sulfuric acid, giving that hydrogen and the metal. So another thing, so zinc, so depending on, uh, there is, we, have, we haven't really talked about the hardness, the Mohs, the Mohs scale. So zinc has a hardness, meaning that it's like its firmness of the, um, of, of it's seeing how brittle it is or how, strong it is and it has um, it's on the Mohs scale of 2.5 we're not going to get super deep into that but it, again it's not going to change anything about the way that the zinc is the zinc is still going to have the same Mohs scale throughout it as it is a still a solid liquid it probably flexes and obviously zinc gas which wouldn't really then have a hardness but as a having a solid it would have the that would be the physical property Density is a little bit weird, a little bit tricky. I, um, if you had questions about zinc having a, a physical or chemical, the density of zinc at 25 degrees Celsius, that's why it's super important to know that like what temperature it is at, that's going to be something that's a physical property. So because it's not going to change, the density at 25 degrees Celsius for zinc is always going to be 17 point, or excuse me, 7.13 grams per cubic centimeter. So that is a cute physical property. There is nothing going to, like, there's no chemical reaction happening. It might be, so a chemical change would not happen because there's no other chemical present and it's not going to have a certain property. So um, notice that also uh, the hotter you get, it's also going to, or the colder you get, the density of certain metals or certain substances is going to change. So you always want to make sure you're taking into consideration the temperature at which the density is going to be explained. So lastly, or to probably took a sneak peek, so zinc reacts slowly with oxygen at elevated temperatures to form zinc, oxid, zinc oxide, Z-N-O. So as you notice, so it's not have anything to do with the way that it physically looks, physically t feels, or um, how it's going to sink or float, which has to do with the density problem again. So it is reacting with something, there's a chemical change happening. So then that would be something that you consider to be the chemical property. Again, if you have any questions on this one, please send me a message on the Remind or email me at mday at pps.net.